there's a shift happening in the coaching industry. My name is Pamela Dale, your GHL gal. I want you to stay with me. I'm going to break it down for you. I'm going to give you a couple of solutions. Let's do this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Lots more of this coming your way. In the coaching industry, over the last couple of years, I've seen an incredible shift. I think COVID-19 really helped with regards to bringing a lot more people online than were before. And a lot of people are thinking coaching is a really great way to go about making money. And you know what? It absolutely is. And then the other shift of it is, is that because there's so much information online, people can get information just about anywhere. So why are they purchasing your stuff, right? They are looking for an incredible experience. And what's really needing to happen moving forward is we need to move from sales over to fulfillment. We need to be sure that the people that we've sold to are actually getting the result that we promised in our sales page, right? In our marketing, what did we say the result was going to be? It's no longer acceptable. You can get it one time, you can sell the course one time, but if you can't get those people those results, it's going to be very challenging because the marketplace is becoming a lot more crowded. With this new focus on fulfillment or client success, what's going to happen is you're going to start to be able to build the real business that you're looking for that has this exponential growth. Is that the right word? Exponential growth, right? So it's really important that you take a look at who is it that is around you. First, you're going to need to do some hiring. I highly suggest you hire well. There is a real appeal to getting low cost labor. When we're talking about coaching and needing coaches and fulfillment, you're going to need to take a look at someone who is very highly trained and can do the thinking work along with you, not just the doing work. There's a place for the doing work, but the thinking work you need to hire well to ensure that you are getting the success for these people. You need to have these people with you. You cannot do it all. The next thing that's missing is your fulfillment process. A lot of coaches that I work with, I can still see where their systems are broken. The ability to contact you, the ability to follow up for you and them, the ability to see where's everybody. Do you have an actual pipeline, like a little Trello board with sticky notes on it? You can see where everyone's at. Could you open up that little card and look at all of that information and know exactly where everyone is at? Could you take notes? Could you then automate some of that for you and your business? Could you then gamify some of your courses so that you could then maybe even just contests and Amazon gift cards, getting people really involved? Do you have a real tight community that's probably off of Facebook where you could really fulfill and offer this incredible experience for your people? I want to go over to the high level account that I have and show you a pipeline. Pipelines inside of high level are real game changer for fulfillment. So what I can do is I can create a new pipeline and it, we'll just use the example of a high ticket application funnel. And you have someone who fills out step one of an order form, right? So we've got step one, so we can do an abandoned cart, then we can do a step two. And then I can do, uh, let's go filled out the application form. And you can see, I get to fill anything out here that I want, right? So book to call, right? And then we could have even a no-show. What happens if somebody doesn't show up, right? Imagine what I'm, what if somebody cancels? What do you do if someone cancels an appointment? Do you have an automation that goes? And then what about onboarding? What about, oh, I'm gonna spell something wrong, that's good. What else could you do, right? You've got offboarding as well. Now, what I want you to see by me putting all of this together here is that if someone fills out step one of the form on your funnel, you can send, uh, oh my gosh, you didn't fill out step two. Step two, excellent, congratulations, you're in. Third, you didn't fill out the form or you did fill out the form. You no longer need to sit and watch did they fill out that form or not? Where is it? Oh my God, it's on Google or type form. You know what? I can't remember. It's over in my Gmail. I can't see it. You, you kind of get where I'm going. So if I fill out this whole pipeline, 
Then what I can do is I can build the automations around it. So I'm going to just save this and I'm just going to jump into an automation really quickly. I probably should have just done this in a test account. Let's jump over. And then what I can do is I can go from pipeline stage changed. So as soon as someone in a pipeline, and it'll be my high ticket application pipeline, in the pipeline stage, step one, right? What I can do is I can add a tag, an abandoned cart tag, right? Then what I could do is I could then send an email and go, oh, you left something behind, right? Now, what if I change this to step three, filled out an application form? Excellent. I want to send me an internal notification that says, hey, knock, 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 so-and-so has filled out this application. So let's go with contact, full name, has filled out the application. Go and approve it or is it an approval process? Do you need to approve it? What needs to happen, right? Or what if they have filled out that application form and you are now going to approve them? So then this will go to an approval stage over here. And then as soon as it's approved, oh, excellent. Here's another email that can go out that says, Fantastic, you've been approved, here are your next steps. You can kind of see where I'm going, right? Very powerful for this to happen inside of your business. This gives you that ability to monitor those clients. This gives you, and a really great team member, to be able to reach out to people at all stages. If you have an onboarding, and then what you have is a follow-up every 20 days, every 33 days, you can have an internal notification go out that says, reach out to so-and-so. You could automate it or you could have someone reach out quickly inside of high level as well that contact record is right there you don't need to jump from the form over to your email to find the person where's the contact oh my god which email address is it right they're going to get you three of them sure as shit right so how do you keep all of that you can hear i hope what i'm saying saving time as well this allows you to help fulfill more if you've got more time and you are more organized so the secret to a successful coaching business in 2023 is going to be all about the tools the right tool to help you automate and to help you fulfill better and to help you those ones will help you scale you're going to need to hire great help. So you're going to need more money coming in. You're going to need to sell more courses, etc. So if you have success stories on those courses, then it just logically all makes sense. You've got this ecosystem that's going to really help you. By focusing on these things, the automating and the fulfilling, how could you make that happen for your people is going to naturally increase your success. A tool like High Level is instrumental in helping you pull this off. I've got a 30 day free trial link down below. I'd love you to join high level, get on a call with me. Before you even log into the software, you'll get an email that will say, hey, jump on a call. Let's see how it'll work for you and your business. Let's see if we can help automate and do that fulfillment piece that we know is probably missing or could be improved. See you on this road.